So, beta, we have another question. We already learned. We already did the part A, and we did part A to find the sales. And after part A, we are going to solve part B. That is, we need to prepare a purchase ledger control account. Okay, we need to prepare a purchase ledger control account. Okay, so beta, the requirement that we gonna solve is purchase ledger control account. Uh, as you can see, beta, in this question, the examiner has clearly asked for uh, us to prepare a purchase ledger control account and now we cannot skip this requirement we cannot do the rough working part or, or the alternate working in this question we need to prepare a proper purchase ledger control account and for which the examiner has awarded us five marks so basically with a purchase ledger control account is suppliers account and not for one of the suppliers but it is a combined account for all of our, all of our creditors now, as you may be aware, beta, the creditors is a liability and the nature for liability is credit. So therefore, the balance BD must always come on the credit side. As you can see in this question, beta, uh, 1st January is beta opening uh, and we can see trade payables at the start of the year, beta, start of the year trade payables value is 18,200. So it is an opening liability. So beta, what happens uh, and what are the transactions that increase or decrease our liability? whenever we are going to buy goods on credit then this will increase our liability so the entry would be purchase account would be debited and liability account would be credited okay purchase debit and liability would be credited what happens beta when we uh, pay our suppliers so whenever we pay our supplier our liability will go down so the entry would be bank would be credited and liability would be debited so this purchase value is not given this is the entire purpose of preparing this PLCA in order to find this credit purchase. Now, what about the bank? Uh, are we given some information about how much we paid to our suppliers? Yes, we paid check to our suppliers. If instead we have paid cash, we, we would also write this here in the, uh, by the reference of cash. So the entry is better. Bank is being credited and liability would be debited. So is there any discount? And the discount would be here, discount received. Why? Because whenever we are paying our suppliers earlier than promised, then our suppliers will be given us, uh, giving us discount. And due to this discount, we are now supposed to pay lesser amount than previously. And there is only uh, uh, there is another transaction that is return outward. Although in the newer questions, the examiner has instructed not to write return outward, instead to write purchase return. Okay, so I can rename it here as well. Purchase return is the newer terminology for uh, return outward. So it's, uh, it's easier to write, uh, remember purchase return, okay? Because uh, if purchase is coming on the credit side, then the purchase return must come on the debit side. Similar is the case with sales or sales return, okay? So beta, if the opening balance for trade table is coming on the credit side, then the closing balance must come on the opposite side, that is debit side. So is there closing balance given? Yes, as you can see in 31st December beta, closing balance for trade payable is already given and that is 14930, okay? Closing balance is for trade payable is given, 1493. So beta, we are done uh, uh, putting all of the entries, okay? Uh, only one thing is increasing a liability that is when we purchase goods on credit, Okay, whenever we pay our supplier, liability would be decreased, that is debited. Whenever we receive discount and due to that, now we have to pay lesser amount whenever we return faulty goods and this also decreases the liability. So what happens, sir, if we solve this, we can find this missing value for purchase. Now, the bigger value would be obviously debit because there is no uh, thing that is missing in the debit. And if we deduct uh, this value, uh, opening balance from this value then this is uh, the purchase value okay so the balance carried down beta uh, uh, it's coming on the debit side then it must be uh, made a balance bd at the start of the next accounting period after december 13 would comes january 14 okay this is the balance bd so beta we uh, prepared plca and this is plca account uh, was used to find this credit purchase 